So what is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to tech Kiran YouTube channel am I Novo Room you already heard about this I've installed the latest am I Novo Room which is based on MIUI 12.5 on my Redmi Note 8 and Redmi Note 9 Pro both of the devices have some differences first one is Android version difference as you already can see Redmi Note 8 has the official Android 11 base as you can see and in Redmi Note 9 Pro where I have installed the sported room based on Android version 10 there are some changes of course because one is sport room and one is official so of course there are some changes I'm gonna share with you MI Novo Room some little bit of extra features and why you should use this room on your device if you're using it let's get started quickly okay let me show you some things about this MI Novo Room first of all for both of these devices have the same kind of look this is MI Novo both of the devices have same kind of version MIUI 12.5 base only as a difference in Android version and also in the latest beta 21.1.20 and 21.1.28. Let me show you in my Redmi Note 9 Pro which is actually a toll build so can be installed on other devices also. You already know about that. I'm not gonna share with you. It has some things like extra features, same kind of things always on display. It's not recommended of course. If you go for other things, let me show you by going into this. We have this kind of control center option available which you can customize if you want to and this kind of same thing is available in Redmi Note 9 a Redmi Note 8 also but with some little bit of changes as you can see if you swipe down there you'll not see anything and in Redmi Note 8 as you can see we have the brightness slider right behind these control center tiles this is interesting one because that's in Android version 11 latest beta that's why it's available there so the android version differences are of course there but a little bit of extra features as you can see the view of the control center it is the same feature which you get in both of the rooms both of the devices because it's mi novo rom feature this one is the view of the control center what it do is it just change the appearance of your control center switch for example let me just swipe down here you can see mobile data tile here flashlight tiles here if you just turn off this it will just force restart your system UI once if it happens and like this okay it happens here it will just force restart your system UI not actually force restart your device but your system UI so wait for it to boot once okay let me just turn on my device once as you can see we have turned off that and now we have the data usage tile option available there if you don't need that you can simply disable it like i don't have that sim that's why and if you just turn off there also okay let me just restart the system UI once and after that you will get that latest kind of control center on your device both of the things are same kind of things as you can see i don't have the sim that's why i just love to use the latest new control center view which does not have the data usage style i don't like that also have the swap panels option available which is actually a switch control center side you can simply switch your control center side from right to left side or left to right side it's just up to you these are some extra features which you get in this latest thing other things are same here you don't get many extra changes if you talk about mi no room it doesn't come with many kind of customizations in status bar we have the action button mobile network switch grid and some extra things like same here let me show you by going into some other things if you talk about some other things in this latest mi novo room if you go for the wallpaper and personalization if you go for the wallpaper it has those super wallpapers options available as you can see it has all the super wallpapers snowy peaks geometry far away rings home and the red planet but doesn't contain the weather super wallpaper which i was looking for but unfortunately it's not available but that's not kind of big deal Looking for Redmi Note 8 features as it has all those Android 11 based features options available here too. There's a new display dark mode etc. It has a new Milan Pro font option available which is available in the both of the devices. Let me just show you by going into display in Redmi Note 9 Pro. It has a Milan Pro font option available. If you enable it, it will be enabled by default automatically after some time maybe that time or maybe you'll need to reboot your device but then it will work definitely on your device. These are some basic things which I just want you to let you know. Let me show you other things about these kind of things. Milan Pro fonts are looking quite great and impressive. As you can see, there's a major difference between these fonts. That's why I love to use. Moving on to the home skin, it also has some little bit of changes in this because of the Android version. It has a system navigation option available here where you can hide the full screen indicator if you want to. 
but if you go here we have this option in other like system navigation with some extra features it has a home screen layout option other number of columns which is not actually available in the redmi note 9 pro it also has a use me space option redmi note 8 but does not include this feature in redmi note 9 pro so basic features are missing from here but other things are same here you can try out both of these rooms on other both of your devices or maybe extra devices also like this is a mere tool build can be stored on other devices also if we talk about the installation this is kind of same i will provide i will try to provide you the installation tutorial for the other rooms so that room tutorial is same installation tutorial is same let me show you by going into safety and status if safety and status is passing or not after installing it on my redmi note 9 pro unfortunately the safety net status is not passing but i haven't tried any kind of module for that so not sure about that but if you talk about the redmi note 8 in my case uh, which in which i have installed this room same room here we have the safety net status passed which means i'll be able to use the banking gaps without any kind of issues but i think so i am using magis 21.4 with that kind of magis hide module which i haven't tried in redmi note 9 pro but in this uh, let me show you by going into magis call so yes as you can see success it's passing successfully not sure about the module but you can give it a try if you want to if you talk about other things doesn't include any changes these were the things i just want to let you know i hope you like this as always goodbye have a nice day.